Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize um, with Embird Embroidery video. Today we're going to do something really cool. It's a quick tip video, but we're going to learn how to take, uh, you know, those wonderful pre-digitized fonts that you buy from different companies and each letter is separate and normally to use them you have to merge, bring it in, resize, bring the next letter in. I'm going to show you how to put it in Embird. So all you have to do is type and you can use these fonts over and over again and it's awesome. So let's begin. So here we are in our workspace and we are working in Embird Editor, not Studio Today, Editor. And these are some awesome letters that I bought. It's a whole alphabet and I bought it probably 10 years ago. And I find it kind of annoying to, not annoying, but it's a little bit difficult to use them. You have to go to File, Merge, bring the letter in, resize it, bring the next letter in. And if you're doing a whole line, that's going to take a lot of work. So there is, a uh, happily, a quick and easy way to fix this. And the answer is right up here. And it's, uh, it's called Insert Ready-Made Alphabet Text. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And there's a couple of ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you the awesome way as well. So Let's click on that and I'll move this up so you can see it. And you can see this alphabet that I brought in. That's actually not the one I wanted to show you, but let's show you this one, fire one that I, I brought in. It's going to work on it a little bit. So I brought this one in. I think the fire alphabet is actually kind of cool. Give your computer time to work on that. But if you notice that doing it this way, um, and I'll show you how to do this way because it's quick and easy. But if you notice 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's all great for the numbers and then it's wrong here. So if I were to type OML, it's going to tell me it can't find those letters because you see this is this is the embroidery design and this is the symbol. So if you, you know, type the number 5, that'll show up. But if you have to type semicolon, colon, sorry, and semicolon for P and Q, so that's a bit difficult to do. You can do it just quick and dirty, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up so it's perfect. So what you would do is click here, Add Ready-Made Alphabet to List, and that's what you want to click on. And then you can do two things. You can add folder, or you can add text or zip file. So add folder is what I did for the fire text. So you simply click on this, you find the folder, on your computer that has the alphabet and you add folder and you'll probably get something like this. Some of it's going to be right, not all of it's going to be right. Um, if you want to do it properly, you need to add text or zip file. And I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. It sounds difficult, um, but it isn't, so just bear with me on it. So before we can add this, we've got to make the text file, which, again, isn't very difficult. So let's cancel out of this, and I'm going to show you where to find everything. So you have to go to Explorer. Now I'm going to cover up Embird so we don't get everyone confused. And you navigate, and here it is, C Drive, Program Files, and then you look for your Embird 64 and you click on that. And then the first one is Alphabet and you double click on that and you're gonna go in and you're gonna find this is what it came with. So there's a b.pes, there is a biker2.txt, oh, that's, sorry, that's the one we're gonna make, d.pes, those are the files that are in there already. So. What do we do with that? Well, we're going to look at the text file and I'm going to show you how to set up a text file. So you double click on the one that's there and you can open it with a little program that comes with Windows and it's called Notepad. And this is all that's in it. And you can adapt this to whatever pre-digitized font you bring in. And all you're doing on this is that you're telling Embird which file is which. So again, it seems a little complicated, but it isn't. If we switch here, let's pick one of the um, biker ones that we added in. So A, 
or B, I clicked on B, there we go. So B, so to set this up, we're gonna ignore this because we're gonna do a save as, or you can leave it just to see how to do it. So you're going to do, so the letter B, and you make it a capital because that's what it is, equals quote, and then you name the file. So it's called upper, and that's an underscore B dot PES. So you're telling Embird that when I type the letter B, this is the file that I want you to use. And you have to go through each letter and you do it. Um, it seems like a lot, okay, 26 letters in the alphabet, but that's okay, simply copy, and it's a right click, copy, and then paste. And then, so this one, let's change it to A, and then change this to a, so oh, we want capitals though, so you don't do that unless you want lower letters. And some alphabets that are pre-digitized, or you can do them yourself, you can create your own alphabet now that you know how to put it in there and it works just the same as any other font that you're using. Um, just go by the name, so that's the letter that you're typing and this is the file that it's directed to. And you go down the list. If you have lowercase, you have to specify all of those. And if you have numbers, you have to have spec you should have to specify all of those. You also have to remember to put all the files in this directory. So what you're going to see for the biker one is you're going to see all the PES files. PES is what we're using for every letter that we have, plus the one text file. And that's it. That's how you do it. You can bring in as many alphabets as you want. The letter and then the file name. And like I said, not a whole lot of typing, just copy and paste. I copied and paste 26 and then I put A, B, C, D, E, F and then I put here A, B, C, D, E, F and it only took five minutes. So once you do that, you save as and this one is called Biker2. So file, save as and call it Biker2, and then, I'm not gonna save it because I've already done this. Make sure the files are in there, so then we don't need this anymore. And now, when we're gonna open it, so we go to Add, so let's just pretend I haven't done this, and Add Text or Zip File, and then you go look for the TXT file that you just did. Once you do that, you click on it, simply click OK, and we'll switch over to it. And it was called biker2.txt. And now it's going to load everything. And there you go. And if you look, all the letters are properly done. So if I type OML, I can type embroidery. We don't have any lowercase. Oops, I almost messed that up. So embroidery. All these letters are going to be correct. And of course, Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Now all these letters come in separately so it's very easy to move them around and of course we're an editor so we can group everything. You can change the colors, you can do anything and they look amazing and it's really easy if you had to type, if you wanted to type, well even this much, look how many steps it would be, merge each one. Wow, that would take you forever. So it seems like a lot of work um, but you only have to do it once and then you can enjoy, you can really enjoy all your pre-digitized fonts that you bought. So again, the steps are you go to insert ready-made font um, and you see what you have in there. I have a couple that I've added. This one is the one that comes with. Um, but before that, you go to your Windows Explorer and you copy over the files and there's going to be a lot of them, but you copy them over into the alphabet directory. And again, that was in your program files and you were look for Embird 64 and the first, the first folder is alphabets and you throw them in there and then you make your txt file. I found it um, very helpful uh, to do it with the list of, because it's quite a bit, you got to know what the names are, um, right beside, and do all that, save it as a txt file and notebook, and now you have three ways of doing lettering. You can insert text, you can insert the font engine text, and now you can use all those really 
beautiful and intricate fonts that you bought and it'll save you a lot of time. So anyways, thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you guys will find this useful and please take the time to do it because it really is great and you'll find you'll be using it a lot once you get it set up. Um, thank you for watching and as always, happy digitizing. Uh, keep calm and digitize on and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We always need more subscribers. It keeps us going. Thank you.